Hello students, it's Shayna, your teacher from EspressoEnglish.net, and the phrasal verb of the day is die down. In the month of February, I'm teaching you a new phrasal verb every day. But if you want to learn more, then check out my course called Phrasal Verbs in Conversation, where you can learn 10, 15, or even 20 phrasal verbs per day. You can click on the link in this video or in the video description for more information about the Phrasal Verbs in Conversation course. All right, let's learn what die down means. Here are the three possible definitions. And as I describe the situation, I want you to guess whether die down means A, be ignored, B, become less intense, or C, make a sacrifice. You can post your guess in the comments. So last night I was trying to get to sleep, but my neighbor was having a party and they were playing some loud music and I could hear the music, I could hear them talking and laughing and I wasn't able to get to sleep until around three o'clock in the morning when the noise from the party finally died down. So based on this example, my neighbor was having a party and Eventually, the, the noise from the party died down and I was able to get to sleep. What do you think it means to die down? A, B, or C? Post your answer and then in just a moment, I'll tell you which is the correct definition. Die down means B, to become less intense. So in the example I described, the party was very noisy for several hours, but eventually the noise died down. It became less intense, it decreased, it lost uh, strength or lost intensity. We often use die down when talking about noise becoming less intense. For example, if you're making a speech and you make a joke and the audience starts laughing, then you might need to wait for the laughter to die down to become less intense before you can continue your speech. All right. We can also use die down for wind. Okay. If you're out sailing on a sailboat, and a sailboat, remember, is powered by the wind. And if the wind dies down, then your boat is probably going to stay in one place because the wind became less intense and now it can't move your sailboat. Die down can also be used when it comes to um, excitement, protests, controversy. For example, if a new book is published and it's very controversial, then maybe when the book is published, there will be a lot of controversy and a lot of media attention and a lot of articles written about it when it first comes out. But then after a while, the controversy will probably die down. It will become less intense. So now you know a few situations where you can use the phrasal verb die down. I'd love to see you use it in your own sentence. So post a comment under this video and try to use the phrasal verb die down, meaning become less intense. Again, if you'd like more information about the Phrasal Verbs in Conversation course, uh, or if you'd like to sign up today and start learning a lot more phrasal verbs, click on the link for more information and you can also take a free sample lesson. That's all for today. I'll see you next time.